Alange Denisididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididid
Dynasty's contract for La Favorite demanded a 1 December 1840 premiere, leaving him little time for dramatic changes. In his 1965 biography Dynasty, Ash Rook surmises that this tight deadline gave rise to the legend that Dynasty actually composed the last act of La Favorite in a single night. In fact, the libretto of Avalanche and the autograph score of La Favorite make clear that the final act of La Favorite was completed long before Dynasty began the rest of it in September. Dynasty lifted it from Avalanche with the exception of two. He brought in librettist Eugene Scribe to oversee the new text, which also required the approval of starring mezzo-soprano Rossine Stoltz. The finished product was an amalgamation of the unfinished Adelaide, the never-performed Allange de Nisida, and new material worked into the score by Dynasty and into the libretto by Scribe. La Favorite premiered on 2 December 1840. Ashbrook has compared the surviving autograph scores of Allange de Nisida and La Favorite to determine precisely how much material it provided for the latter. While the events in Allange are set in 1470, in Nisida, Naples, La Favorite is set in Santiago de Compostela and Castel, both in Spain, prior to 1350. Dynasty made fundamental changes to the first half of La Favorite and little remains of Allange. The central conflict of the story involving the marriage and subsequent death is essentially the same from one opera to the other, and some of the character names are also similar or identical. A transcription of the libretto is kept at the Fondesigny Dynasty Library in Bergamo and was printed in a 2002 issue of the Italian language journal for the Dynasty Society. 2018 premiere Alange de Nisida received its world premiere on 18 July 2018 in a concert performance at the Royal Opera House in London in association with Opera Rara. The performance was conducted by Mark Elder with the title role sung by Joyce L. Cowery. The score was reconstructed over a period of eight years by musicologist Candida Mantica from pages discovered in the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, which were scattered in 18 different folders, as well as archive research in Bo. She eventually identified approximately 470 pages of the Allange de Nisida score written in Dynasty's hand. Roles. As the opera never got to the rehearsal stage, little is known about the intended cast. In a letter to his close friend Tommaso Persico, Dynasty expressed his desire to give the title role to Juliet Bourgeois, a temperamental soprano who requested a large sum of money to perform in France. She was later to create the title role in Dynasty's La Fille du Regiment. Synopsis Time, 1470 Place, Naples and Nisida Leone de Casaldi is an exiled soldier who makes a forbidden journey to the island of Nisida, outside Naples, Italy, to see Silvia, with whom he is infatuated. Leone knows she is a noble but little else. While on Nisida, Leone encounters Don Gaspar, Chamberlain to King Fernand of Naples. After hearing Leone's plight, Don Gaspar convinces him to travel to Naples to have his exile lifted. Leon and Sylvia meet in Naples, at which time Leon discovers that she is actually Sylvia de Linares, the king's mistress. She declares her love for Leon but implores him to abandon her and his plans in Naples. When he refuses, the king discovers him and orders Don Gaspar to arrest and imprison him. The king expresses to Sylvia his desire that she wed him. However, agents of Rome have been plotting to banish the mistress from Naples. When the king, dismayed, offers to grant her any request, she asks that Leon be set free. A monk appears, brandishing the papal bull and threatening to banish Sylvia if she remains a mistress to the king. The king plots with Don Gaspar to free Leon and wed him to Sylvia, although Leon would be sent away and Sylvia would remain the king's mistress. Leon and Sylvia marry, but when Leon discovers the plot, he breaks his sword in front of the king and leaves under the monk's escort. Leon is preparing to take his vows as a monk when Sylvia appears, having followed him disguised as a novice. When she confronts Leon and asks for forgiveness, he realizes his feelings and attempts to flee with her. 
Sylvia, who has been near death, dies at Leon's feet despite his calls for help. Recordings World premiere recording, Opera Rara or C-58, 2019, recorded live at Royal Opera House, London, on 18 and 21 July 2018. Joyce L. Cowery, Countess Sylvia de Linares, David Jung-Hoon, Kim Leon de Cazaldi, Laurent Nayuri, Don Gaspar, Beto Priant, Don Fernand Darragon, Evgeny Stavinsky, the monk slash father superior, Royal Opera Chorus, and Orchestra of the Royal Opera House, Sir Mark Elder C. Laugh favorite for recordings based on much of the music.